What is up, guys? Fig Nuke in here, and today we're back with another vinyl haul. Um, since last time, I got a lot and uh, some pretty cool stuff. Some stuff I'm more been just purely wanting rather than just seeing and like going, oh, hey, uh, well, more stuff I've been looking for, I should say, rather than wanting because I wanted a lot of stuff. But then I uh, don't technically need it or I should probably wait. But whatever. I'm back with another vinyl haul. Got a ton of stuff to show you. So I'm going to start with the 45s, 7 inches. First one, it's only rock and roll. Back with Through the Long Night. Even I didn't realize uh, when I bought it, backside there, it's a little melted. Um, it's from my favorite Rolling Stones album. It's only rock and roll. Um, but I'm not the biggest Rolling Stones fan, if I'm going to be honest. Um, basically, I just listened to It's Only Rock and Roll because I'm not very into Mick Jagger's voice. But um, still, I think the songwriting is good. I'm just not the biggest fan of them. Um, next up, got Doom Side of the Moon, Money Single. Um, these guys are really cool. They're a uh, doom metal cover, kind of cover band. Um, or, uh, yeah, well, I guess they consider a cover band, yeah. But doom metal covers of uh, Pink Floyd songs. They're great. Uh, connected to the Sword. I've talked about them before. Um, and now we're going to go on to our 12-inch singles. I have a couple of those. Um, some of these uh, are more... Stuff my dad said hey you should listen to this um but other stuff like paul mccartney some lonely nights for example uh i picked this one out uh, i really like paul mccartney uh, i heard this album that this came from the broadway show or whatever it is i'm not 100 percent sure it was a really good um album my friend has it and he says it's really good but uh it's got silly love songs on it i wasn't a big fan of the extended version of no more lonely nights but the no more lonely nights ballad it sounded great um next up got it's bong 13 by the Man. i don't know or it, it's strange love and uh nothing um my dad's a really big depeche Mode fan but i also listen to him um have not gotten a chance to listen to this yet actually no i did i get got to listen to uh strange love uh the remixes so it's kind of eh but i figured the old depeche Mode stuff's kind of gets picked up really quick um this was my dad's he got this i don't know even Pump up the volume by somebody. I don't is is double A Mars or something. I don't know. Um, or Mars double A. It looks like I don't know. No idea. But uh, haven't got to listen to it yet. But I do want to. Next up, got uh, Bon Jovi wanted dead or alive. Um, so I I, I got this because I thought special. I thought it was a special long version since it says long version on here. But. Uh, now it's just the normal version of the song, sadly. It's not any special edition. Um, but I guess if I just want to listen to Wanted Dead or Alive, uh, I can now. Um, it's Curse on Mercury. Um, brand new. I think it was sealed before it came uh, to the record store I got it at. Um, next up, got Snally Gaster by uh, The Skeptics. This is a local band to me, kind of, I think. You're from Maryland or York or something. I'm not even sure. And that's Pennsylvania or uh, for York. Um, yeah, this is actually an album that was only released in the uh, Europe, which is kind of cool. Um, and they got a copy in. It was pretty cheap, so I figured I'd pick it up. I listened to the music, and it's actually pretty pretty good. So if you ever get a chance to listen to um, Snotty Gaster by Skeptics, I highly recommend it. Next one kind of made me mad because I bought that Rolling Stones single. And then uh, two days later or something, this came up first pressing. It's really nice. Uh, of course, it's only rock and roll. Um, got my favorite Rolling Stone song of all time, Time Waits for No One. Great, great song. If you ever haven't listened to it before, definitely recommend. Um, next up, got the music from the great movie thrillers. Um, of course, this is Alfred Hitchcock, uh, the instrumental and uh, soundtracks from it. Or scores, I should say. Um, very good. Uh, haven't listened to both sides yet, but the first side. A side has Psycho. Um, stuff like that. I haven't listened to Vertigo, which I'm most excited for. Because I love theme for that. Next up, got Jay Giles Band. Um, Bloodshot. 
I recently actually saw Peter Wolf open for The Who, and I really was interested in his music, so I got Jay Giles' band, um, Bloodshot, and it's on a sick red pressing by Atlantic. Um, I love the Atlantic pressings when they, before, not when they were doing um, Led Zeppelin, I liked the green and orange and stuff like that. I wasn't a big fan of that, but when they started uh, either matching the covers of the albums or um, even this one where it matches the uh, uh, vinyl itself, I think it's pretty cool. Next up we got Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication. I found this for cheap, only 20 bucks. It was like brand new. Um, of course, this I wanted to buy it for a while, but the new ones come for like $50. And I would never spend that for uh, for just a uh, two LP because I'm not crazy. Unless it was something special, but this is like a new pressing. I would never spend that on unless it was a box set or something like that. Next up, got the Pesh Mode Construction Time again. Um, I don't even know Sire. I guess is the um, it was pressed by, and uh, it's great or Meat Records. I guess I don't know. Maybe Sire's label Meat is the person that pressed it um yeah great album um it's only three bucks it said vg minus on it but when i listened to it, it sounded very very good honestly um it does look a little messed up though so give it that next up we got jimmy page outrider um pretty good album it's not my favorite of the um post zap on albums um but it's pretty good um i was always bigger um page solo fan but or Page Plant Solo Fan, sorry. <laughs> um, of course, this is on Griffin Records. Um, pretty good. So we got one of these albums that was kind of a uh, want more than a um, something I really want. It's like a owl cooing outside, so that's cool. Um, Al Stewart's Year of the Cat. I love Year of the Cat. Um, Alan Parsons. Um, Helped work with that song and you know put the great sax solo in it and uh, I mean it's a great song it's a pretty good album honestly it's on a race to records um, next up Megadeth Dystopia my probably my favorite Megadeth album uh, it's only eleven bucks at Guitar Center surprisingly uh, and uh, I really thought it was worth it since it's, most of the ones I see are thirty dollars. And also, I got this at Guitar Center for only 14 bucks. Sadly, it was out of the casing. It's a little messed up. Records are in perfect condition, though. Um, but yeah, it's just a modern pressing. Since this was at Guitar Center, I don't think they sell anything used. Next up, we got Doom Side of the Moon by Doom Side of the Moon, um, which is a complete Dark Side of the Moon cover album. It's great if you, if you uh, really like Dark Side of the Moon, uh, and you really like like Black Sabbath, I think you'll really like this. But it's on a cool orange, orange wax, uh, kind of like a marbled orange. Very very cool. Um, next up, got Encore, the Encore EP by Doom Side of the Moon as well. Um, this has uh, three songs on it. It's got Have a Cigar, Pigs, three different ones, and Wish You Were Here. Very very good. It's uh, only a one side EP, but still very very good. Next up, I got Cream, Wheels of Fire, probably one of my favorite Cream albums, uh, if not my favorite Cream album. Uh, Fresh Cream was pretty uh, pretty good too, um, but this is on RSO Records. I believe it's a UK pressing, I'm not 100% sure though, do not quote me on that. Um, but yeah, very, very good album. Of course, it's got the one of their most popular songs, White Room, on there. Next up, Ram by uh, Paul McCartney, of course, on the Columbia label. Um, probably has one of my favorite Paul McCartney solo songs, um, Uncle Albert, uh, Admiral Halsey. Very, very cool, interesting story about that, how it's like 10 songs all matched together. Um, next up, it's almost, I have one album left, or two albums left, and then two actual albums, and I have soundtracks. Um, Simply my Blue Oyster Cult collection. Um, the self-titled, of course, uh, got popular songs like uh, Then Came the Last Days of May and Cities on Flames. Uh, City and 
on Flame with Rock and Roll. Very, very popular songs. Next up, going into hip hop a little bit. Um, I have DMX's It's Dark and Hell is Hot. One of my favorite uh, hip hop albums of all time. First pressed on a nice gold record. Uh, it's actually uh, Merch Bar had a thing where it's um, two of his albums for $20. So I decided to get this. Um, great album. And then paired with it was, of course, Flesh of My uh, Flesh of My Flesh and Blood of My Blood. Uh, great, great album. It's probably one of my favorite uh, of all time hip hop albums. Uh, I mean, of course, DMX has some of my favorite hip hop albums. I love his dark rap, like uh, kind of like the Immortal Technique kind of dark. Not like dark, like uh, I'm an emo kid, but dark as in, uh, I don't know, like, it's very, I don't even know, I, I'm, I'm just going to skip what I'm trying to say, because I give up. <laughs> um, then this is Moody Blues on the Threshold of a Dream, kind of a complete change up from the last album, but uh, this is on Duram, I guess, I don't, I guess that's the, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is a very good album. Uh, I wasn't as knowledgeable about that album as I was this next one. Um, but that turned out really good when I listened to it. And this one is uh, Moody Blues, Every Good Boy Deserves a Favorite. Probably my favorite Moody Blues album of all time. Uh, it was actually kind of cool because I just saw um, John Lodge in a concert with Yes Asia and... Uh, in the LP tribute group, kind of, um, with Carl Palmer drumming, so that was cool. But uh, other than that, I got a couple CDs, but I don't think they really uh, matter too much. But I think I'm actually going to start a uh, little series where I go through my, um, I have like a CD rack, so I figure I might go through that and uh, go A to Z and do reviews. So hopefully that'll be really cool, and uh, I guess that's it for this video. Guys, have a great day.